time for Lefties Losing It. Let's start Lefties with ageing rocker John Mellencamp having an almighty meltdown on stage after an audience member asked him to play some music rather than preach about politics. Now here's the thing, man. You don't know me. You don't f***ing know me. Hey, Joe, find this guy and let me see him after the show. Guys, I can stop this show right now and just go home. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Since you've been so wonderful, I'm going to cut about ten songs out of the show. Here we go. What a pathetic little tantrum. First the outburst, then the threat that he will cut 10 songs from the set and shortchange his own fans who've paid to see him sing, not preach, sing. And then he sings for about 10 seconds and runs off stage like a petulant toddler. Now let's go to New York where Mayor Eric Adams occasionally takes a break from handing over millions of dollars of taxpayer money to our illegal immigrants to uh, trot out this favourite line. Everyone knows that New York City is the Athens of America. It's the Istanbul of America. It's the keys of America. It's the soul of America. We are the Tel Aviv of America. New York City is the Islamabad of America. The Zagreb of America. We are the Lima of America. New York City is Mexico City of America. This is the Dublin of America. Maybe the mayor should uh, focus on why only uh, one in three New Yorkers are happy to be living in New York, with only half planning on staying in the city in the next four years. Goodness me. Now, let's check in on this uh, character, a WPATH, that's the World Professional Association for Transgender Health, physician, this, this character's a physician. Uh, these are the folks who are behind the so-called gender-affirming care model. Medical interventions allow some of us to change our primary and secondary sex characteristics. We have phalloplasty that creates a penis and a scrotum and testicles. We have vaginoplasty that creates a, va a vagina and a vulva. Yes, yes, you do, but they are not functional. They do not have sexual function. That seems like an important point. But this physician isn't satisfied with chopping bits off or adding bits. Uh, what about genitalia that is abstract? Do we have to stick to, to penis and vagina norms? Can we have genitalia that look like flowers or, or abstract sculpture? Can, can we have multiple? Can they be interchangeable? And, and what about other areas of the body? Flowers, abstract structures, oh my gosh. Best I say uh, nothing more about that. Now to a Democrat expert witness who, despite having superb hair, is humiliated over and over again by the superb Louisiana Senator John Kennedy. This is art, folks. This is art. I mean, you're here as an expert. Tell me more about what carbon dioxide is. I'm here as an expert cross-country skier who sees the changes in my winters and the landscape that I live in in Alaska. And so carbon dioxide is, what I see it as is, you know, it's a gas that exists in our atmosphere. And what, is it the major part of our atmosphere? Or? It's a huge part of our atmosphere, yeah. It's actually a very small part of our atmosphere. Well, okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. What are you asking specifically? Uh, well, you said we need to reduce carbon dioxide emissions. I'd like to know first if you know what it is. Uh, it only gets better. Let's watch. Uh, how, how much will it cost for us to uh, become carbon neutral in the United States by 2050? I'm not a professional on that. I don't have an answer. You don't have any idea? No. You, you just think we ought to spend the money? I'm not an economist. Yeah. 
but it's going to cost money. You realize that. Yeah, but we've also talked about the, the trade-off of what the cost of climate change as emergencies will cost in the future also. So. Right. But it's going to cost trillions of dollars to become carbon neutral by 20,050, right? I do not know. You don't know. You just think we ought to do it. I, I don't have a great answer for you, but I think okay. I would like if to we spent If we emissions. spent those trillions of dollars and became carbon neutral by 2050 in the United States, um, which you advocate, how much will it reduce world temperatures? I don't have an answer for that. You don't know? No. You just think we ought to spend the money and then see what happens? I think as an athlete, I think if we spend that money and invest in our future, hopefully those temperatures stop rising and maybe the snow at least stabilizes where it is for me. There you go, the indulged and spectacularly clueless Greta Thunberg generation just spent trillions without really knowing why, make bold statements without any idea of the facts and uh, turn up as an expert witness when you clearly have zero idea.